A spatial analysis can improve the estimation of treatment effects by modelling more accurately the spatial distribution of error effects in a field trial. However, selecting the optimal spatial model can be difficult. Our example illustrates the analysis of spatial data on a regular grid. The data set is a field experiment that compares 25 varieties of barley. The slate hall trial is a balanced lattice square with six replicates, arranged in a 15 column by 10 row grid of plots. Load the ASREML package. Then load the slate hall farm file, which is an internal data set in the ASREML package. Print out the first few rows. The rep factor indicates the lattice square replicate, and the row and column factors indicate the spatial layout of the plots. The row block and coal block factors indicate the row and column of the lattice block. In this example, both the lattice row and column blocks are simply numbered 1 to 30. For comparative purposes, we'll look at three models, two spatial models and the incomplete block model. Before we begin, we'll switch to the gamma parameterization for estimation. Under the gamma parameterization, variance parameters are expressed relative to the residual variance. In the first spatial model, we'll fit a separable first-order autoregressive model in the field row and field column directions. This is often a useful model to start the spatial modelling process with. The variance model for the plot errors is given by this formula, where sigma r and sigma c are the correlation matrices for the row and column models respectively. We'll fit the separable autoregressive error model. The Remmel log likelihood, random components, and walled statistics from the fit are as follows. The error variance is 38713. The estimated row correlation is 0.458 and the estimated column correlation is 0.684. The current spatial model can be revised based on diagnostics, such as a sample variogram of the residuals. The variogram is a useful diagnostic tool for identifying an appropriate variance model for spatial data. Let's inspect the sample variogram to see if it is compatible with the anticipated pattern. The plot of the sample variogram of the residuals is not trimmed, but ignoring the unreliable contribution from extreme lags, it appears in reasonable agreement with the model. Our second spatial model extends the first by including measurement error, or a nugget effect. The variance model for the plot errors is now given by the following formula where Psi is the ratio of nugget variance to error variance. We run essentially the same commands to produce the Remmel log likelihood, random components, and walled statistics, but this time we'll store the results in an object called barley2.asr. As the variance models are nested, a log likelihood ratio test can be used to compare the two spatial models. The log likelihood ratio test shows a significant improvement to the model fit with the inclusion of the nugget effect. Lastly, we'll look at an incomplete block analysis. 
We'll store the results in an object called barley3.asr. This time, the log likelihood ratio test cannot be used to compare the incomplete block model with either of the spatial models, as the variance models are not nested. However, the three models can be compared using BIC. The model with the smallest BIC value is chosen as the preferred model. The second model, spatial model with nugget effect, provides the better fit to these data. Finally, let's predict the variety means for our chosen model using the PREDICT method. Let's print out the variety means with their standard errors. The average standard error of difference between the predicted means is 60.51.